Welcome to DataViz Daily. I'm Kevin McGinley, and today we're going to talk about connecting data visualization to another type of database. Um, and in this case, it's going to be an S based data source. So we're working in the Oracle Analytics Cloud Suite here, um, and we've got a um, S based connection defined. I'll show it to you uh, quickly here. So if we go in and, and edit this. <clears throat> it's a pretty simple um, connection screen. We can put in basic information about um, the SBase server. In this case, this is SBase running right on the Oracle Analytics Cloud Suite, so I can reference it internally here with this um, local host port number. Um, and then it's just a, a simple username and password from there. Now, uh, depending on if you're using desktop, your connection might look a little bit differently than this, and I'll maybe address that in a future episode. Um, but for now, this is in an environment where um, SBase and data visualization are all running in the same place in the Oracle Cloud, so you can connect to them pretty easily. So from there, it's a matter of going in and creating a new data source. Now, this is going to be a little bit different than what we saw with a relational database, an Oracle database, because it's much simpler here. So when you connect to an SBase cube, you're connecting to the whole cube. There isn't really this notion of connecting to a single table or a single set of columns within the table. Um, there's no MDX-like statement that you could put in that's similar to the SQL interface. And from a settings perspective, it's, it's actually very simple. So if I select one of the cubes here and just click the settings, there really aren't any settings to configure here. There's no filtering or anything like that. So, so this is really a pretty simple interface um, to connect to your SBase cubes. So it's really just a matter of, is the cube out there? Is it running? Is it available as a, as a database? Do you have access to it with the credentials that you need? And then from there, it's just a matter of clicking on one, giving it a name. Maybe I just call this my hiring cube. Um, and then this creates a data source um, you know, within your databases area um, that shows up this special icon that shows that this is an S-based cube. And then from there, you can create a project from it. Now, I already have this hiring one in here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. Um, and again, this is just deleting it as a database data source, not deleting any, you know, not deleting the connection, not deleting the cube itself. Um, and then from there, it's just a matter of like we have before going in ahead and, and creating a project. Um, so if we go ahead and it's going to open up another tab to launch the Oracle data visualization interface. Um, and then from there, it's just a matter of getting uh, a number of folders um, that look very similar to any other data set that we connect to within um, Oracle data visualization. This looks very much like a subject area. And then I can expand these different folders. Here's a folder with a bunch of measures in it. Um, the calendar folder, which in S-Base we're gonna have year, month, and quarter defined in this particular cube. Um, and then you'll start to see some very S-Base-like um, attributes here. Um, we've got, for this particular dimension, we've got Gen 1, Gen, Gen, sorry, Gen 2, Gen 3, um, within the hierarchy perspective for purchase organization. Um, and we've got the same thing for product. This is a very sort of standard S-Base naming convention. Unfortunately, you don't get a whole lot of control over those coming across. Um, you can come in here and do an inspect, um, and that's going to show you a very simplistic interface. It's not what we're used to seeing from an inspect perspective, so I can't really change anything here. So what's defined in the cube is, is sort of what you get. Um, and so that's going to be important to note as you want to connect data visualization to an S-based cube. Sometimes it might make sense to have cubes that are sort of predefined for data visualization purposes. They're set up perhaps in a different way, perhaps in a slightly more friendly way to come across into this interface. Um, but ultimately then I can, you know, pick columns in the same way that I always would. Um, actually, let's pick uh, product instead. Um, and go ahead and create this best visualization. The interface of Oracle Data Visualization largely stays the same here. So you can see here it sent a query to that S-based cube. I've got a line chart by a quarter um, of the different sort of product categories um, and uh, you know pretty pretty standard output from an Oracle Data Visualization standpoint. 
Now, what I don't get here is the sort of drill down capabilities um, that you would find in SBase. So while I can do something like, you know, right click on my uh, Gen 2 product here and do a drill, um, it doesn't sort of automatically know and infer the, the different hierarchies in this case within the product dimension. Now I can go down to Gen 3 um, and actually effectively replace the Gen 2 attribute with the Gen 3 attribute, but that's really no different than, than me just simply dragging this attribute here, replacing one with the other. It's not really a drill activity that, that I'm doing per se. Now I could come here to, um, you know, something like uh, one of the specific products um, and do a drill in, in that fashion. Um, but in this case, it's gonna take into account both the time period and the particular, in this case, product to um, uh, Gen 2 product that I'm, that I'm working with from a drill perspective. Um, so this is a drill that's more specific to the, the type of data set that I'm looking at um, holistically. And perhaps a better representation of this would be if I were to maybe change this to a bar um, and I were to maybe get rid of the quarter here just to uh, you know, see all of these different product categories if I wanted to uh, drill on maintenance and let's say go from Gen 2 down to Gen 3, which is a logical drill path, um, all it's going to do is put the Gen 2 product filter up here from a maintenance perspective um, and then ultimately give me all the different uh, products that fit within that maintenance category. So, you know, that's kind of, uh, you know, the, the sort of tour of what you get um, when you connect to an S-Space cube within Oracle Data Visualization. There's still some things that Oracle needs to add in that would make it pretty sort of standard and, and intuitive from the standpoint of someone who's used to going into SmartView, for example, and interfacing with an S-Space cube um, from a sort of slice and dice drill perspective. But you still get most of the capabilities that you would expect to get in terms of being able to query that cube and get results and you get the benefit of you know, the entire sort of visualization palette um, that Oracle Data Visualization provides um, to be able to sort of effectively provide uh, you know, the sort of dashboarding capability that um, web analysis, for example, would produce in the past. And it's much easier to create something within the DV canvas um, than it was to, to build a dashboard within web analysis and to a certain extent with OBIE as well. Um, adoption of OBIE on top of SBase is sometimes driven by, um, you know, sort of what the user experience feels like for the people who are building um, analyses and dashboards on top of an S-Space cube. So here's another opportunity for you to use a different type of tool. Again, you don't quite get every single thing that you would want or expect from being able to interface with that data. Um, you know, hierarchies uh, are the big thing. It's They're there, you can drill, but it's not sort of set up as just a one-click uh, type of experience to be able to do that. Um, but ultimately expect something like that to, to come very shortly over time because that is something that um, all S-Space users would expect to be able to have and I would imagine Oracle would uh, you know, provide that at some point. So that's a quick overview of how to connect Oracle DV to S-Space on the Oracle Analytics Cloud Service. For DataViz Daily, I'm Kevin McGinley. Thanks for watching.